Ruthie, a hot, hard Saturday afternoon here at the Tough Dog Tough Truck and the scat attack has turned up late in the afternoon, but it's here. Look, the all-terrain guys, they've rebuilt this transfer case three times now. <laughs> three times I've managed to wreck it. Stig's already this time. He's got a whole heap of automatic transmission fluid in the fridge and we're keeping it cool. We hope we can make it up the hill and back down again this time, Simon. I was about to say, Stig's got a bit of a reputation for having a big red thing in his hand, but you've got that there ready to go? <laughs> Certainly do. I've got the transmission cooler on the back already, and we've got five litres in there waiting to go. The good old Waco. Now, you guys have had a whole day to think about this truck and think about these courses. I've seen you, Ruthie, having a look over the Rocky Horror. What are your thoughts? It's awesome. But everything I've looked at so far, I've just thought, wow, that's awesome. All I can say is that if you're like me and you've never tried this, the adrenaline buzz is just out of this world. It really is, you know? I mean, anyone can have a go. Anyone can stick it on the roof. Halfway in between, the buzz is fantastic. It's just awesome, isn't it, Stig? It's just something else. I'm glad I've got this guy on board. I tell you, he's got all the experience. We saw you out there on the Mystery Night stage. You were electric, Ruthie. You were in your element. You only had front-wheel drive, but you just kept going and going and going. Yeah, that's because the brakes weren't working, Simon. <laughs> Isn't that right, Stick? We had no option. We shot down that hill. No brakes, no rear-wheel drive, no... What else did we have? We lost the front coils. And some poor bugger had to go fishing for those coils, I believe. I did go for a swim, and I found them about two inches under the mud. So it wasn't too bad. No, well done. That was a good find. Scat attack, Ruthie and Stig, Rocky Horror... Let's make it go off, guys. Well done. Good on you, Simon. Thank you. Cheers. Coming off a disappointing effort on the all-terrain course and with more repairs under their belts, Ruthie and Stig had nothing to lose on the Rocky Horror and backed by a swelling crowd were ready to put on one hell of a show. Up first, Stig wisely exited the vehicle and ran ahead of the scat, hoping to provide some sort of assistance. Revved up and ready to go, Ruthie pushed hard on the skinny pedal and headed the mighty scat for certain glory. At first, the light bull dust sapped away the traction and progress was slow, but more right foot kept the vehicle climbing. From here on in, things got decidedly nasty. Check this out. Not to be stopped there, Ruthie thought he'd go again. But with headlights falling out, dust covering the course, a banana rear diff and a missing coil just to start with, it was over for now. Without a doubt, Ruthie had put on the show of the day and the spectators were lapping it up. Nowhere near a shrinking violet, Ruthie took the adulation squarely on the chin and even took the time to shake a few hands. Tell me, at what point did you think, I don't think there's much return from here? Uh, it was really funny. The whole world sort of went brown, blue, brown, blue, brown, blue, brown, blue. That's about when I thought, oh, we're going backwards. I was, uh, I was just watching it there. She's kicked up on its back wheels and then done a full pirouette, endo, back down here on its wheels, and you're lining up for another go. Uh, yeah, we're still going. Uh, it's the shortest. I've, I've got to say, the all-terrain club and the guys at Mad Fab that built this thing, you saw what it took then, and you can see me. I'm just so thankful they did their job right. Sensational. And 100% on that. Roll, roll cages, helmets and nets are not a bad thing for our motorsport. Copy? Uh, too right. And I'll tell you what, a whole lot of BBM approval. I mean, that's just...